Hey everybody, this is Ilad and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. Oh yeah. Uh, so recently we got this update that adds, in addition to an awesome radial menu, <laughs> which I'm a very big fan of, we also got a new logic system called the Sensor. Uh, unfortunately it's not one of the easiest logic systems to really master, so I figured I'd do a little tutorial on some of the basics here and maybe while I'm at it also show you how to get some use out of it a little more compactly than than you might expect would work uh, so what I've got over here this is very simple setup um, these cargo containers pull out of each other uh, currently this one has 999 power in it uh, there's a glitch in the game right now where if I added the one more one more power reactor to make this an even thousand it would claim it was overloaded uh, let me actually show you. All right, sorry, capacity 100 out of 100 volume units. Yeah, uh, so most of you probably already knew about that. All right, so anyway, uh, so that's sorted out. Got 999 blocks. Then this is set to draw power capa or power reactors out at 100 per pull tick. Okay, so that's going to kind of fill this up um, more or less 10% at a time, right? Alright, so for our tutorial I want to set up a logic sensor that's going to detect what percentage full this storage block is. Alright, and this would, keep in mind this would work even if I connected this to a lot of uh, cargo spaces, but I'm, I'm not going to do that because I want to keep this short and simple. <laughs> um, Alright, so to start with, I need, out of many, many components that I need, I need a sensor block. Uh, right next to it, I need an activation module. Uh, under no circumstances should these two things be connected. Nope, don't do it. All right, just leave it just the way it is, and we'll be happy. Actually, I think I'm going to park this on top of it. For no, I mean, there's no advantage to it except I've just got a particular layout in my head. All right, um, this serves as your output. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link it to a lamp that it's going to turn on. Uh, when when this detects the specified percentage of cargo in the cargo container, storage container. All right. Uh, next, we need to decide, or we need a way to decide exactly what that threshold is. At what percent fullness will um, will the will the lamp activate? Right. So let me let me drop down. 10 activation modules. I'm going to do 5 lit and 5 unlit. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I need, last but not least, after I connect these, before I forget, I need a clock. So, there we go. Alright, now the clock, the, the activation module output from the clock, apparently needs to be linked into the sensor block. Now, the uh, the sensor block only actually checks the thing that it's linked to when it receives a signal. And by the way, I haven't linked it to the system that I'm checking yet, so I need to do that. All right, so far so good. Um, with all of these linked and half of them own, what that means is the sensor block will output a true signal and indirectly turn on the lamp. Uh, when this block is half full. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on storage pull. Alright, uh, this is a very simple little setup. There we go, the light coming on means I've got a little bit of inventory in there. Uh, let's, let's just watch it. Alright, at 40% capacity you notice that the lamp is still not on, but at the end of the pull tick... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are at least half full. Okay, and that, that goes directly at, like this is 50%, it goes directly at 50%. Like it doesn't have to be 50.5% or anything like that. Okay, and it's going to stay on as long as that's at least 50% full, which means, um, yeah, even if it gets all the way up to 80%, oh, check it out. There's 80%. See, I'm adjusting the percentage it's checking for, okay. 
Uh, but unfortunately, because of the way that storage systems currently have a bug, we are not going to see this hit an actual 100% light up. So, lights off and boom, lights off. Because the storage pool won't actually pull enough to, uh, to fill it up to 100. Like if I had another, if I had one more power reactor in here, it would not pull it right now. It really sucks. I hate that and I hope that they get the bug sorted out before too long. Alright, so while this finishes draining out, um, I'm going to show you a way to set up a 10 light system a little more compactly. Because the way, way that it looks right now, if you just go kind of intuitively, like you'll need, if you want to run 10 lights and each one represents 10%, you'll need a row of activation modules where one of them is lit up and then one or two of them is lit up and so on. And you could do this actually with any percentages like this right here would actually measure for 50%. Uh, but even at that, like you're gonna, you're gonna have 10 sets of activation modules. Or are you? Actually, no, you're not. And I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, let's see. Boom. One, two, three, four. Now, all right, I'll give you that, you know, we're using 10 of these instead of just one. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out a way around that actually, so yeah, if anybody knows, if anybody figures out how to just do it all with one, um, let me know. I have an idea, ooh, I'm not supposed to link these. I, have, I had an idea on how to do it, and I couldn't actually get it to work, so I'm going to be tinkering with that a little bit, but yeah. Alright, so there's that. Alright, so we're all set up there. I need to be sure I link every one of these sensors to the storage block. There we go. Alright, um, and I need a few more activation modules, actually. I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add four lit up ones down here, and I'm going to add four deactivated ones right there. Okay. So this one is looking for 10% capacity. Um, that means it needs one out of 10 activation modules to be active, all right? This one is looking for 20% capacity. So I'm gonna link it to one lit up one and four deactivated ones. Uh, and actually, you know, if, if the math bothers you, you could do two and eight, you know, whatever. Um, this is looking for 30%, so 3, you get the message, and 7, 7, yeah, I think that's right, uh, 40%, uh, let's see, that'll do it, 50%, very easy, 60%, 70%, Seventy percent is one of the troublesome ones where um, three, f three, four, five, six, seven. Where I have to go the full ten. Three. Yep. Eighty percent. I can do with five. Ninety percent. I've got to go full ten. Whoa. And 100% I can just do with one, so that's kind of nice. All right, and you notice that whenever I overlap them, it doesn't invalidate the previous links. Love that. Love that. That's what makes this whole compact version possible. I'm using a lot fewer activation modules here than I would otherwise. That's pretty nifty. Um, I, did, uh, I think that's it. I think it's everything. Let's see, my clock's still going, so let me just go ahead and get the storage pulling. And we'll see if this works the way it's supposed to. Alright, yep, so far so good. I feel like it's been a little bit of a while. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Oh, <laughs> yep. Guess what I didn't do? You cannot uh, group link these, by the way. <laughs> you 
got to do those individually. I knew I'd forget some step. This is really a complicated process. I'm not really complaining because I'm so happy to have this. It's going to make a lot of great inventions possible. Uh, but it is a little... There are a lot of steps to setting it up. Okay. All right, so we're at 80% right now. Uh, we're about to be at 90% now. Yeah, okay. And we are not going to hit 100% because of the storage bug. So yeah, you need a uh, you need a signal coming off a clock. I've switched it out with a button just to test, and yeah, the button works just fine. Um, I only linked the button to the first three though, so that's as far as it's going to go. Um, you need the clock running these. You need these adjacent to the activation blocks. Uh, not linked. Absolutely not linked. Uh, the activation modules they are linked to, the percentage of them that are blue versus the percentage that are orange is the percentage, the threshold that it's measuring for. And it does an, uh, an equal to or greater than operation. It doesn't have to be actually greater than. Um, this is your output, so you link it to whatever system you want to run. And of course the sensor has to be linked to some kind of a system uh, for it to check. Yeah, alright. Uh, very, very exciting. I'm so glad they added this. It was long overdue. Um, keep in mind, you don't have to run lamps off stuff like this. Uh, now, we, you know, we have the display replacements. That you, could, uh, you could have a display module that actually says like 10%, 20%, 30%. Whatever, it'd be great. It's going to be so awesome to to play with this and see what we can do with it. But anyway, that's enough fanboying for me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it helps you out. And I, again, if you figure out a way to make this more compact, please, please, I would love to see it. Um, I worked, I worked for probably a couple hours on that, and I could not solve it. Uh, so, yeah. Shoot a message my way if you get it, and I will link to you. I will sing your praises. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Ilad, and I am thankful for you, everybody who's watching. So I appreciate it. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>